If we look at the numbers 1 and 0.9 repeating, we can express the distance between these two numbers as some number z. And we can find z by doing 1 minus 0.9 repeating. And since this is just a definition for z, we can put a box around it. Now let's try to find out what z is. Let's copy this down and let's divide everything by 10. 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1. And you can think of it as moving the decimal one place to the left. And then we're going to subtract 0 0.9 repeating divided by 10. Same thing, we're going to move the decimal one place to the left, which gives us 0 0.09 repeating. So there's a 0 here and then just a whole bunch of nines forever. And then z divided by 10, well, we can call that 0.1z. Here, I want to add 0.9 to both sides of the equation. 0 0.1 plus 0 0.9 is equal to 1. Let's bring this part down. And then on the right-hand side, we'll have 0.1z plus 0.9. For my next step, I want to subtract 0 0.9 from both sides. So we can bring down the 1 right here. So negative 0 0.09 repeating minus 0 0.9, that's equal to 0 0.99 repeating. So the reason for this, since they're both negative, it's like they're being added together negatively. And then on the right-hand side, these two cancel each other out, giving us just 0.1z. So let's look at this 0.99 repeating. Well, that's just the same thing as 0.9 repeating. If you have an unending supply of nines with a nine at the start of it, that's just the same thing as just having an unending supply of nines. And then let's copy down everything else. So this equation looks cool right here. Let's put a box around it. Let's compare our boxes. Let's get rid of all this work and bring this up. We have one minus 0.9 repeating is equal to z and one minus 0.9 repeating is equal to 0.1z. Since z and 0.1z are both equal to one minus 0.9 repeating, we can set them equal to each other. That's called substitution. Then from here, I can subtract 0.1z from both sides. On the left-hand side, I get 0.9z, and on the right-hand side, I get 0. Now for our next step, we can divide both sides by 0 0.9. 0.9z divided by 0 0.9 is equal to z, and 0 divided by 0 0.9 is equal to 0. Oh, we solve for z, it's equal to 0. Let's put a box around it. Copy down our original box down here, and let's plug in 0 for the z. So the distance between 1 and 0 0.9 repeating is equal to 0. And then that leads us to the conclusion that 1 equals 0 0.9 repeating. How exciting.